Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like or subscribe uh, if you like the content. So the final video in this mini series, what we've been doing is basically just printing out a big tile map um, and of a hundred a hundred no 10 10 yeah 100 100 now i will increase this to a thousand just show you but then it won't really run because it will be a little too slow uh so we can't render all of that um and this is the initialization it, this you can't really call in any way so um this is fine this for loop but the rendering for loop this is the best place where i can show you how we're going to um minimize this for loop so we don't go from zero to the map size but we're actually going from one position to another position basically in the map so and and, and at the same time checking so we're not going below zero or greater than the map size okay so we're gonna have to basically if i just show you what we're gonna do in paint is we have this large tile map right now imagine this being filled with smaller grids like this all of those okay and obviously we start at the position zero to maybe something, maybe say 10. But this is the Y direction is also from zero to 10, right? And we're rendering all of this. But imagine we just want to render a small amount. Then we need four variables. We need something that's called two from X to X from Y to Y. So these four variables are going to make sure we always render that little area in this big big grid uh this big tile map and that's going to control the for loops going from x to x from y to y all right that's basically how we're going to do it and am i recording yes all right so we need these four variables and i'm going to pretty much put them right here below tile map so int from x int 2x int from y int 2y now these are really important all right these in con uh, in uh, um what do you call it in combination with the map size is going to help us how to do stuff and we need to pretty much put it in the game loop since it's all the time gonna um gonna start rendering or gonna start what do you call it um gonna keep uh, updating those values so what i want to do is i want to say this is going to be from x and this is going to be 2x and this is going to be from y to y all right and i pretty much messed that up 2y um like that and we're gonna have to update those correctly so let's start off with from x now if from x um is less than zero let's start off with these first is less than zero uh, from x equals zero else if from x is larger or equal to map size from x equals to map size minus one all right always do that also the y so from y from y from y from y so these are all from okay then we have to do the 2x and 2y so just copy the whole thing put it down here and we're just going to say 2 2x the same thing exact same thing 2x because they can both be uh, these values, okay? 2y, 2y, no, wait, uh, yeah, 2y, right? There we go, so 2x and 2y. Now, you could put those together if you wanted to, so from x, there you go, great. So this is going to all the time check that these don't um yeah go go above these limits basically um 
that's great that's great now we're gonna have to start actually working with this now from x is going to be mouse position grid dot x minus maybe two all right and then 2x is going to be mouse post grid dot x plus 2. So we're going to go a little bit left of the mouse position grid. And we're going to go a little bit to the right of the mouse position grid. And then from y, the same thing. I could just copy these actually. And from y to y. Okay. And just change these to Y as well. I will be uploading this code, so don't worry. You'll be able to just look at this code and pretty much copy paste it and it should work for you. So this is the pre, you know, processing and everything. We're kind of, we're kind of setting it up for it to be, see? And it doesn't crash if I put the mouse position like that. So we're rendering the tile map only, we're only rendering um, four times four tiles it's still in the background it's still there it still exists it's just that the for loop is not processing anything else but uh these these uh four times four tiles okay these 16 tiles 16 right pretty much i think it's 16 um four times three is 12 uh, quick maths bros quick maths but there you go so it's only rendering whatever that is now to make that look a little bit more interest a little easier to see all the edges of the map i'm just gonna decrease that to to 10 and then i'm going to show you that it doesn't crash even though i'm outside of the map it only that's the two in the from x working for us right there so that is our our tiles basically that's what's happening um and that's how you always make sure that you're not processing unnecessary tiles and that is how you do it, okay? Um, now, one thing you notice is that it's it's too much to the left. Like if I show you, you'll see that my mouse position grid is actually is actually uh, to the bottom right a little bit, right? I want to have it being in the center. So what I want to do is probably want to decrease to and from by one. Uh, from by one so I'm just gonna do minus let's see how that looks pretty pretty sure no that is very weird uh, very weird from Y let's see if that works Yeah, that worked. So now we're at the center. See, so that's kind of how that works. Um, and this is how it's going to look if you're checking for collision with the player. So usually what I do is when I'm standing still, it's not checking any tile. When I'm moving to the right, it's going to be checking the three tiles to the right of this box. Okay, the top right one, center right one and the bottom right one. If I'm moving to the left, same thing, but on the opposite side, up and down. So we're only checking the tiles that are in any risk of colliding with the player. All right. And that's how you optimize your game. You need to do that or you need to use something called a quad tree. Usually you want to use a quad tree, but this is a very good way, I think, to to uh, make sure you're not processing bad stuff. OK, so a good example of this now for rendering, I want to show you that is is to uh, get the view position. So view dot get center dot x okay and you want to make sure you don't render anything that is outside of the view the camera you don't process anything to be rendered that's outside of the camera and i'll show you how that how that looks so so like that and i don't know how many tiles that would be that would be 100 right so 100 maybe minus five well let's start off with maybe five five and then we'll do six here all right so that will go from the center and we'll try running this 
and most probably 600 500 yeah most probably um, that won't work for some reason because the center the view center is right here yeah that's kind of strange though get center okay what if we do the one and the two here again and we set the map size to 100 again let's just try that it should go from the centers I'm not 100% sure why it's not doing that um, I think it's because obviously we're not dividing it by the grid size because I'm dumb divided by grid size F you want to divide that always um, because you want the grid there you go okay there you go so you just want to do that and it shouldn't be any problems now it should work yeah now it's working see now it's not with the mouse position but it's with the screen so what you ideally want to do is you want to have everything from here to the edge of the screen rendering like that okay all of those tiles so to do that you probably want to do minus five five like we did earlier six six so let's try that and that'll be the last example because then you can just play around with these values and you can see yourself so this is kind of yeah this is kind of it's kind of working so some way and then you want to have one extra tile up here so you don't see this popping like that and also same thing here you probably want to have one extra tile to the right uh, where you don't do anything so here you go it's not lagging we got a hundred times a hundred tiles even if I run this up to let me just show you even if I run this up to something more realistic maybe 2,000 times 2,000 tiles it's gonna take a while for this to build uh, most probably it's gonna take a while to load in yeah we're loading in takes a little while if you run this in a release it will be a lot easier for your for your own sakes uh, so let's just see if even if it does this I don't even think it's gonna be able to allocate all these tiles properly it's taking too long let's just run this in release mode I, th I hope I built it I hope I linked release mode hopefully I did yeah I did link release mode so that should work a little faster come on come on I know you can I know you can do it god damn it sometimes it just bugs me out uh, 1000 then there we go it's something with this damn rectangle shape it's always buggy and shit um, okay so now a thousand times a thousand still it's not lagging it's not going down in frame rate it's it's still pretty high frame rates here and it's uh, it's going really smoothly because we're only processing these tiles so you go guys and girls that's it for these mini series tutorials hopefully that helped hopefully you learned how to work with grids and views and sizes and mouse positions and just practice this just practice it put it into your own game don't forget to always make sure every position you're checking is in a grid position so you got to divide it with grid size um, to get that grid position out so there you go guys and girls thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking with me hopefully you learned something ask me any questions in discord and all that stuff if you do have any questions um, and yeah keep working hard i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye